Hello everybody, this is Jeffrey GTI7 and welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys my showcase of the Mitsubishi Lancer Evil 6 at Tokyo Expressway. I'll be showing you you guys explain how you get the car and I'll be showing you guys my particular build that I have this car as well, plus the engine swap, the livery, uh, the race setup, plus race strategy also in this video as well. So I'm pretty sure you guys are really going to enjoy this video, which I hope this video will help you out uh, if you do decide to, to bring this car at the Expressway. But other than that, uh, let us get straight into the video. Now the first step of course is how to get the car. Well unfortunately at this point of the, this time, uh, the car is not here. I checked before recording this and unfortunately it's not here. So basically what you see here on the screen is what we still have. Now, this is the old clip that I made about two days ago. Um, however, in this whole Lancer Evolution series, you can still get the number three. Uh, this is the car I started off first in this whole series. Uh, so, if you want to check out that video, you can click on the screen right at the top of the right of the screen. If you're curious to see how well this car did with its engine swap, and trust me, it did very well. Um, so anyway, if you have the car, then good for you. We can just continue on to step two. And for this particular step, as you guys can see at the bottom right of the corner, we have ourselves an engine swap for this particular car. It's going to cost you about 325,000 credits for the swap itself. Now, thankfully, it's not too, too expensive, but you still need to save up some credits. So I just recommend just doing one race, either at Sardina or Le Mans or Tokyo Expressway. Uh, it doesn't really matter what track you go to as long as you win the race. Um, so the engine, if you're curious to know, it's the Evolution Final Grade B. Uh, that is the rally car's engine. Um, so you can see it does bring a lot of buffs to this car. Um, everything is turning blue except for the displacement uh, because it's a mystery. Uh, now, if you do have the engine in your garage, uh, and you're not level 50 just yet, and you can use this for a voucher. Now, if you want to buy it, just make sure you're level 50. Uh, that is this hot pick number right here. If you're level 50, uh, for your collection level or your collector level, you can basically buy not only engine swaps, but you can also buy the ultimate car parts too for certain cars. Uh, so, yeah. So, if you hit level 50, if you have the car, you can easily just buy it. Uh, which I hope you do. If not, then you can just hopefully get the engine for your training shop and just use it for a voucher. Alright, so to show you guys now the livery that I'm using for this race is going to be this bl black and white Puma livery. Um, if you guys don't follow me in the game just yet, here are the top three key uh, search words if you want to know what they are. Now, if you do follow me, uh, just go to my news feed and I'll have it right there. Uh, should be pretty much in the top of the list. Um, so that is going to be for delivery. Now if you don't not want the paint job, but you want the parts uh, Just mainly get the spoon racing rims make sure the offsets wide make sure you have it set to about the middle range of the Diameter and you're good to go front the bumper is type a and that's it for the car parts uh, Here's the setup itself As you guys may know we have sport hearts for our tire choice in this race Moving on down to differential, it's going to be fully customized. We're going to have both the torque acceleration to 5, and we're going to have our braking set to 50. Uh, for our torque victory center, make sure it's 2575. For our downforce, the front is going to be 2. The rear is going to be 60. After that, we're going to have the ECU set to 93. For our power restrictor, make sure it's set to 97. Fully customized manual transmission, make sure it's set to 360. High RPM turbocharger kit. And increased body rigidity, and that's going to be it uh, for the car. So mainly just a little bit of nerfing for the overall horsepower, but that's practically it. And plus a few adjustments on the wing. Uh, now, just like the other cars we have actually have driven, uh, this car also takes off like a rocket too. You can see we're easily making up some spots, uh, just cracking out inside the top 10 as we're exiting the tunnel. And this car really does take off. It reminds me a lot of the uh, the first Evo 3. Uh, what we did. You can see the still climbing over 205 miles per hour uh, until the breaking point, which is pretty good. And you can see we're going to get uh, try to get around the uh, the old Impreza, or try to at least. But you can see it's so far a good start, top 5, uh, moving ourselves to 4th place if we can. Uh, now the handling itself actually handles very good. It seems like whenever we get to uh, each evolution we get, the car actually does handle a little bit better and better, uh, which is pretty cool to see. But, 
Um, saying that, we're going to make a nice move on the outside on the RX-7. Or try to at least make a pass for it right about here. Um, right there, we'll move to P3. And then we're going to center ourselves for our next good corner. Make a little bit of a slight contact with the older Supra. But despite that, we're going to move to P2. Um, pretty much halfway through the first lap, so this is actually re reminds me a lot of the last video we made uh, using the EVO 5. But one thing I can tell from the car, as you guys may saw, we actually did hit the wall pretty hard. Uh, so this car actually is a little bit more tight uh, just because we're running a very low downforce. If you guys remember, our downforce is very low. It's like it's not even there. So expect the car to be tight understeer tight uh, but other than that the car really does take off very well uh, also when the track does begin to dry off uh, the car should be able to feel a little bit better since there'll be more traction and grip on the track when the track begins to dry up uh, but you can see by the end of the first lap we should be right at P2 but we are getting close to the leader uh, not to mention we have our favorite long straight coming up as well uh, so we're definitely going to make up a lot of time on the later as you can see where our speed is increasingly pretty quick. Um, as we cross the finish line, it's going to be right at 2 minutes and 19 seconds. And you can see we're just now hit the 200 mile mark. And you can see we're not stopping there. It easily goes to 210. We're going to get a nice little uh, slipstream from the Honda. And as we're about to approach our breaking point on the first turn, we'll be right at 216. So this car really has really good top speed as well. Let's fast forward now to lap 8. This is going to be our lap to pit. Now you can see the left front tire is basically cooked very, very much well worn. Uh, so this particular lap, all we're going to do here is just barely change our tires and just add enough fuel to finish off the race. Uh, but I was pretty glad that we were able to make 8 laps around the track uh, before making the pit road. So this car actually does make one lap longer uh, distance compared to the other evos we've tested it out. But like I said before, we're going to change the tires real quick. And we're also going to add just a little bit of fuel. Just to get by with the race. Don't need to fill it all the way up. And that's going to be it for our pit stop. As we fast forward now to lap 11, this is going to be our hot lap. Now I'm still kind of under the weather uh, because of my allergy issue that I'm currently having. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let you guys watch this clip and concentrate, see what the car is doing. And I'll see you guys when we get to the end of the race. So we did 206.4, which I thought was really, really good. As you can see here, we're about to put the Alfa Romeo a lap down as well. So this has been a really good, strong run uh, with this car. Not to mention, but we're able to put uh, a total of four AI drivers a lap down. So it's been a very quick, fast run. 
uh, this particular race. So we did a 206.4, which is was pretty quick overall. I uh, was very well pleased of how the car drove this whole entire race, as we're about to put the Alfa Romeo lap down. Uh, but yeah, it was a really, really good, strong car overall. Uh, it's probably right my second favorite Lancer in this whole test, uh, right behind the very first one that we drove. But yeah, really good result uh, for this car. Um, so as we get through the finish line of this race, um, in this whole entire race, it's going to be right shy of 26 minutes. Uh, so really well pleased of how the car drove, uh, how I was able to really handle the car as well. Uh, this was one second away from hitting the 25 minute bracket, so that was really good. Uh, moving this car up to second fastest overall of the whole Lancer Evolution uh, cars. So, uh, this whole entire race we kept the car clean. We didn't really make any contact that was hard enough for us to lose the bonus, which was nice. And that's going to be it for this episode. So hopefully this particular build using the Lancer Evolution 6 will help you out at Tokyo Expressway. And I, I mentioned before, if you don't have the car, um, then hopefully it does show up pretty soon. Uh, try out the three, the Evolution 3 is at the garage, or the used car dealership, try that out. Hopefully that will help. And if this particular package doesn't work out for you for Tokyo Expressway, Expressway then what I recommend doing is just saving it and just use it at Lamont. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you do leave a like button, that would be highly appreciated. If you guys are also interested in, or very much well, uh, interested into basically uh, would like to see more of these type of videos with all these kind of money grinds tip videos uh, why not go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well as I try my best to upload daily just to pinpoint and give out different money grind races especially for Tokyo Expressway um, I know I need to get back on doing Le Mans and Sardina at one point but I'm really enjoying doing all these swap videos uh, just to see which car actually is the best out of all these cars but if you guys would like to check out my last episode I did using the Evolution 5 here is the video right about there click on that video uh, hopefully that video also will be a big help to you too as well just in case if this one doesn't work then maybe that one will um, you know just in case you want to check it out you can other than that hopefully you guys have a great rest of the day or night wherever you might be and I'll see you guys later take care